I'm a chairperson of Youth LGBT Organization Daystri here in Sofia, Bulgaria. The main goal and the main activity of our organization is providing pro bono legal services to LGBTI community. We were contacted a year ago with a case where Bulgarian authority don't want to issue a Bulgarian birth certificate to a Bulgarian citizen born abroad. The case is now pending to the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg. I, I didn't want to get married at first, but um, Jean surprised me at our one of our anniversaries. She proposed. I was extremely happy that she did and she didn't listen to me. So we were very excited to plan the wedding. And after that, we never really talked about having a child. It was just something that we always knew we want to. It just happened naturally. We kind of looked at each other one day and we were like, I think we're ready to have a baby. Let's have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> And it was the best thing we ever did. Yeah, it was. We love it to bits. I, I just wanted to say that I'm sad because uh, my mom is the only one that could see Sarah when she was little. Uh, and my dad can't travel, so he hasn't seen her yet. <laughs> She's almost, she'll probably be a lot older until my dad will be able to see her. And it's even worse because even when the restrictions are lifted and everybody else is allowed to travel, we still won't be able to. What has to be underlined in this case is that it's a European citizen. But as a Bulgarian and European citizen, she is deprived of the rights that the European Union law recognizes for her. And she is left to be stateless for more than a year now. And this is only because countries within the European Union, as Bulgaria, do not recognize the families that same-sex parents establish in other European Union countries.